We can ask ChatGPT to give us ideas on various topics. For example, I've provided two prompts here. Give me ideas for organizing refresher courses for a sales commercial team and for conducting a post satisfaction survey. And here, a four day tourist itinerary in Baltimore and Philadelphia, starting and returning to Washington, including a boat trip on the Baltimore Bay. In other words, anything that comes to mind, let's ask it to give us ideas. Some will be useful, others may not. Look, here I have, give me ideas for organizing. And I've clicked on it. Here it tells me that organizing a course is essential to ensure that your team is always up to date and satisfied with their training. And here it suggests the evolution of needs, thematic planning with some areas, communication skills, product and service knowledge, training formats, various possible formats, guest experts, continuous evaluation, support resources and podcasts, books or videos. Then for the satisfaction survey, how to design it, making it anonymous, including open-ended questions, rating scales, real-time feedback, and a report on results and corrective actions to take. And then repetition and improvement, using the results to continuously improve programs, well, many things may be things we already know, but it might give us some ideas that are worth considering. Remember that open communication and constant adaptation are key to maintaining a highly effective and motivated sales team. And here it has given us many ideas. Now let's move on to the other one. Let's see the other one that will be around here. Let's see if we can load it. It's the one about the trip. Here's what we wanted. I pressed the wrong button, sorry. What we wanted was a four-day tourist itinerary in Baltimore and Philadelphia. Let's see if it's here. Here it is. Look, I've also generated it because sometimes it struggles a little bit. So give me a travel plan. That's what it says in the prompt. And here it says, sure, here you have a travel plan. From Washington to Baltimore, it suggests leaving early as the journey takes an hour and 15 minutes. You start at the harbor where the aquarium is located, have lunch at one of the restaurants by the boat. Then, it outlines the boarding process, dinner at one of the restaurants, and an overnight stay in Baltimore. The next day, breakfast at your hotel, a visit to the art museum such as the Gen Reforma. Then lunch at the Lexington Market, followed by other points of interest and an overnight stay. After that, from Baltimore to Philadelphia, it recommends visiting the Independence National Historical Park, where the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall are located. Lunch at Reading Terminal Market, a historic market. Explore the historic ship and it provides the entire itinerary just like this. These have been a couple of quick ideas we asked GPT about, but you can ask for ideas on anything, from brainstorming on a topic to asking for ideas on a specific subject. It helps overcome the blank page syndrome and is a great tool to kickstart your work.